Hey, Tien. What do you think the chances are of us winning this fight, huh? This fight? Yeah. And I'm not just talking about the enemy that's right in front of us. I'm talking about this whole situation until it's all over. The good news is, our enemies are just as affected as us by the waves. So, we should all be at the same level. To put it simply, I'd say our chances are about 50-50. Yeah, that's what I thought. The waves are playing a huge role in this, huh? So, I uh, guess that means we shouldn't have to rely on Goku to take care of everything this time. Exactly. Let's show everyone what we can do. Here goes! Yeah! Standing in front of Piccolo's clone reminds me of when we fought him in the World Tournament. Though, that was quite some time ago. Yeah, Piccolo's definitely changed a bunch since then, huh? He's not a bad guy anymore. <laughs> Indeed. He doesn't seem to have a shred of evil left in him anymore. Oh, by the way, did you know Piccolo babysits Pan when Gohan and his wife are out of the house? Isn't that neat? So convenient. He calms her down and changes her diapers. I hear he's pretty good at it. He even makes baby food for her. Definitely the perfect babysitter. P Piccolo changing diapers? I can't tell which one of you is actually Pan's grandfather anymore. Hey, you sound just like Chi Chi. She says Piccolo makes a better grandpa than me. I don't think that's something you should be particularly proud of as Pan's actual grandfather. Listen, and I don't think you should go telling people that Piccolo is taking care of your granddaughter. Huh? Why is that? Uh, well, to protect Piccolo's image, I guess. His image? <coughs> Let's end this conversation here, shall we? Yeah, 
Let's take care of this Piccolo clone and show him who's Grandpa! Me! Ready for this? Crazy! You take into this like a duck to 